Hello ladies and gentlemen, within this video I wanted to teach you how to basically print out the attributes for yourself in a format that you can easily use to help you maintain your code and debug. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So um, let's create a, a new object called dog1, has a couple of values. Let's say that the breed is a dachshund. Uh, let's say the name is Miss Juini. His age is two, right? So when I print dog one, give me an access to, there you go, to basically the location within memory, okay? And we don't want to do this, and we also don't want to do something like, let's say, uh, dog one, breed, and then we let, wait for it to do this, and then plus dog one, name, And you see, we, we start getting, well, actually, because I put dog one, Mr. Weenie, you see? So it becomes a little bit problematic. And if we have to be able to do this like several times to see what the changes are between different objects, it becomes a little bit problematic, okay? So what we want to do is create a new function. And this is the str function. Uh, the str function is two lowercase, followed by the letters str, and then two lowercase after. And then, of course, inside of our uh, parentheses, we put the self keyword, and we begin. So we want to be able to return a value here. Okay, we always want to return. We don't directly print, but return a value. Okay, so for example, right now we return. I wanted to do something like, let's say, I wanted to put the name of the dog first name of dog and then I put name and then I put uh, create a new line and then I say name of breed or breed just breed I guess will be fine put my breed and then I put um, H let's go in the age of the dog and then, I, of course, I typecast this into age. And you may be getting this error right here uh, within this function. The reason why you're getting these red lines is because it doesn't, it's not defining name. So you forgot to have used your keyword self and then for breed as well. So know that, so it knows that it's actually referencing uh, the attributes of this uh, type of dog, okay, within our class. All right, so we run it and it looks good. So now instead of like now that I have this, um, that I have this function, I can call it on frequently. So for example, if I were to just do dog one, let's go ahead and run it. It's going to print all of this information for me. And notice how I just printed actually the object itself. And it's not giving me the memory location anymore. I do not have to make a function call to str. So I can reference any amount of uh, um, objects that I want as long as I call them properly. And I don't, like I said, I do not need to make like a str. I do not got to make a call function call to this. You can, but it's not necessary. Because once you're trying to print dog one, it automatically is going to print, oh, they want this piece of information in here. Thank you so much for watching and try to create your own uh, STR functions to basically format uh, in the way that you like the attributes for the, uh, well, for the class and the objects that you want to create. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this video helped.